Soul Family. How are you doing this morning? Look at that lake. Look at that lake. It is glass. No wind. No movement on the water. Still. Everything is still. It's, you know what? And look at the skies are blue. I was going to say the calm before the storm. Interesting that I would say that. I don't make mistakes when my higher self speaks. Um, curious. We're, it's the eye before the calm before the storm. So we're in the eye of the hurricane. Okay. So, <clears> hmm. <throat> well, with that in mind, I'm going to give you guys a message. Um, it's been coming to my attention and I'm just going to let you guys know that if you, um, if anybody goes to get a reading and I don't know what cards I'm going to look, I'm going to go look and see. Um, if you're trying to see if anybody is a, is a, um, um, if they are true, like if, if you're if you're going to a reader and you want to know, you, you want to test them and see if they know what the hell they're doing, um, and you give them false information, you feed them with false information, you're going to get a false reading. People think that, oh, if I tell her this, this, and this, and she reads on that, that she's a liar or she doesn't know what she's doing. No, or he. No, that's not the case. If you go with the intent of tr tricking someone um, and by giving them false information, you will get an inaccurate reading. Spirit will either throw out what it, what needs to be read of that person or of a scenario, wh whatever it is. You will not get an accurate reading. So if you want to know if somebody is good at what they're doing, ask a question, but don't give them any information. Right? And then, you know, you'll be able to see. That needed to be said because right now there's... Um, that's happening a lot and it's like oh she's know what she's doing or and no that's not the case you're feeding inaccurate information and spirit either is going to throw it back at you or give you inaccurate answers all right so hold on what do we look at what do we what do we want you guys what is it that you're looking at the wisdom of avalon yeah right when i was thinking i want to read pictures there's really not much to read in these pictures um No hidden fees. I'm just listening. Fairy Oracle. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like there's something in this as well. Gosh, there's kind of dark energy coming and I don't really like that. So I'm going to call in right now. I'm going to ask that this reading be protected. That no energy comes in. I'm going to take a hold of my fluorite right now. Um... I'm going to put you guys down, Hold on. and I'm going to actually get my stage, and we're going to start feelings off on a very clean, positive note. I'm hearing the word illuminate, and I'm asking for illumination myself. So here we go. Here's my personal Queen of Wands ceremonial stage wand. I love this mine with the amethyst and the key to my own freedom right the key to my own freedom okay we all have the key to our own freedom it's just whether we choose to unlock the whatever it is that we feel is keeping us in uh, keeping us locked up correct for neutrality on all levels so we want to have clarity today we don't want illusions we want to see past the illusions so we're going to call as i'm looking at the wisdom of avalon i'm thinking of wow it doesn't even want to burn <laughs> look at that it doesn't want to burn um, I wondered if it was too much ash at the end, but no, it just doesn't want to burn. That's interesting. Okay. So it's not in my energy. Could be online. You know, there's a lot of, um, haters online. There's a lot of people that, you know, that don't, that remember I, I said the other day, there we go. As I'm speaking about that, as we said, I said the other day in my dream, I watched a man say tarot is evil and. So it's somebody who's trying to discredit um, our work or whatever. Okay, so we're gonna clear. I'm gonna clear my computer. I'm also getting um, information right now that um, there are people that are in committed relationships that are going outside of their relationships, flirting. Um, I don't know if they're wanting attention or. I'm not quite certain what it is, but I'm getting that. So be conscious of that, consciously aware. It's not a lot going here. So that's good. That's good. I'm just going to let it sit there and uh, be aware online. 
right? Be cautious. And uh, sometimes, you know, we like our, we like getting attention. And so with that attention, we're not really um, screening where it's coming from. And you can have a lot of fraudulent things happen online, you know? Okay, so the first message is coming. We're going to get the first message from the vampire debt, just one. Because that was, um, I, I tried to walk away and <clears throat> it wasn't allowing me to walk away. So that's interesting, even my, for myself. That gave me an answer. I tried to walk away and it wasn't allowing me to walk away. So why? Because it's vampiric energy. Okay, so then we want to ask Archangel Michael to come in and cut cords. Um, any negative attachments that nets of, you know, webs that anyone's throwing out that we are unaware of or that we are, you know, because you're going through life expecting people to be decent, right? And they, they're not all. So can you please make it very clear where I need to detach from? Or if I don't need to know, if you can just detach that energy, if there is some kind of action, we want to know, right? Okay, correct neutrality on. I have to remember I said that. So I tried to walk away and it wouldn't let me. And it was the vampire deck. So it is someone that we have tried to detach from somebody's energy and they won't allow it. So that is even more reason for us to detach because even if this isn't a person that is not, uh, like it's not a negative person, not allowing you to detach, that is negative. That's control. And we can't have control over anyone that, or, and allow it over us. So we want, uh, cords of love can never be cut, but cords of dysfunction um, can. So it could be someone who's very jealous, very insecure, and they, and they keep you wrapped up in cords. So if you try to pull away or detach and they won't let you, that's a difference than when you try to pull away from something and your heart won't let you. That's not what I said. I said they wouldn't let me. Okay, so first message from this deck. How interesting. This is really interesting because the card was flipped upright in the deck <laughs> and that it dropped at that card. So uh, we always know that when the card opens up, I mean, the card that's on the bottom, that, you know, that's the one that we pick, but that, and then when it's flipped up, it's even extra emphasis. And what did I just say? If someone doesn't let you attach, detach, it's because they're jealous or they're insecure. Now, what we need to know is, is this person jealous of, like, is it because they're insecure, right? Are they insecure? And so when you try to pull away, they energetically pull you back. Or is this, as I said, somebody who is attached to someone else and they are jealous of you? Or as I said earlier with the readings that are going on, somebody's trying to um, manipulate things and try and discredit someone because they're jealous of their work, right? Is it that situation? But it's uh, not a surprise that jealousy pops up and then envy, punishment, and changing course. So you see this girl and she is naked, vulnerable, and exposed. She looks like she is the one who is at the mercy of whatever's going on around her. I feel like this is me right now because it's really strange. You can't see, but I feel as though she's a mermaid because she's got covering over her chest, which a lot of times they depict mermaids in that way. This isn't the mermaid deck. I am the mermaid, that's why I said I feel like this is going on for me, so I have to pay attention to this. Um, so right now, what's going on is overcoming spite and envy. So... You have been doing your work. You have been walking your walk, talking your talk. You have been loving and caring for your projects or the people in your life. And you have attracted envy. So do you have some kind of fear within you? Are you, because of that, is it, is, are you running wild with that? Do you have some kind of a guilt over something? Or is there a fear that's been lit up inside? Because there's manipulating going on, if that's the case. Because it's someone else. It is not you. It's someone else that wants you to be hurt. So instead of that, we need to change things. We need to switch things up. Now, you're sitting there in this cave or wherever you are, and there's a bunch of skulls behind you. Clearly, you're going to be eaten next, right? So... 
even though there are there is something or an energy vampire or someone that wants to cause harm to you, that wants to destroy you, your reputation, come after you, you you still have strength. You you are not a victim. We talked about this in the weekly reading yesterday. We are not a victim. We are not um, at the mercy of anyone else unless we believe that we are. And we may have become, maybe we have gone through a lot and we're in a weakened condition. Or maybe we've just reawakened and we're in this newborn condition. But we can grow stronger. So... It's interesting. I watched a, a dream last night and I watched a Kota Mundi. I was coming out of an airport. So an airport would be flying high, which meant I was astral traveling. I was coming out of an airport and there was a Kota Mundi holding on to a white kitten, a tiny white kitten. And I couldn't remember what a Kota Mundi was, but when I went and I thought, oh, they need help. Both of them, right? They're just young. So first of all, they're young people. That's what I'm picking up. It's a younger person um, or a younger mentality. And like a not um, not very awake, not awakened, or not very experienced. Um, somebody who actually. Well, I'll I'll tell you what happened first. So I'm thinking that they're they're vulnerable, right? And I say, oh, we should help them. And then I realize that the white kitten that the Kota Mundi is holding is being squished to death. He's killing the the, the white kitten. So what I'm looking at here is this one is appearing to be open, naked, and vulnerable, and an innocent one, but there are skulls behind this one. So this isn't me. <laughs> they are portraying themselves this way. So someone's copying you, Sherry. Someone is pretending to be like you. And this is for you yourself, right? Because I call this on myself. It depend depends on what you guys call it. Anyway, I fought the Code of Monday. And I tried to pull away this little kitten that was being squished. And this coat of Mandy was vicious. And I got it, it away. I got it away from the coat of Mandy and I threw the coat of Mandy away. And I got the little kitten and we got into the car. And I, it was bleeding. So it was hurt. And I wrapped it in a little tissue. So something soft, something, something uh, that was light on its skin. And as I was watching, I was, I said, can I, can I, uh, I want, I asked if I could take care of it. Can I take care of this little kitten? I will get rid of it. And I don't mean get rid of it, like dispose of it. I'll find a home for it, but it's hurt and I want to help it. So this would be you trying to help another, right? Like even for my work, uh, I was talking about people coming and trying to um, manipulate to see, discredit you in your work. Um... So this person comes forward and they're trying to be like you. They are there and they're jealous of you. They're envious of you. If you know, I, I'm, I'm doing my work. It could be your work, whatever your work is. And um, as I watched this little kitten, the little kitten stretched and it was making these little funny noises as it was breathing and its eyes were closed and then it made a funny noise and then it stopped moving. And I said, oh my gosh, I go, is it gone? Is it? Is it dead? Did it die? I said that to my friend. And my friend said, yes, it's gone. And I was very sad. Now, in, the, in dreams, kittens are associated with women. Because you think about cats, right? Women can be very catty. Um, it's a kitten in a dream indicates that someone in your life is going to betray you very soon. So pay attention to that dream. So what did I do is I look, looked up Kodamundi totem. I couldn't find a, a, a totem on a Kodamundi, but the Kodamundi itself is a raccoon. Now, you know the raccoon is as a masked bandit, right? And the Kodamundi, <clears throat> as an animal, it is a South American, like it's a ring-tailed rat from the raccoon family. So it's so... So this is somebody, so it could be a family member within the family or within the soul family. Think about this. You know, we talk about soul family. We've got to think about all the different things. It's a white-nosed coati is what it's known as. And it lives in the ground and it lives in the trees. And it feeds on fruits. Um, but what I wanted to find out about it, um, hold on a second. 
was, and I looked up totem, and as I said, I couldn't find anything about the Cotamundi to as a totem itself. But what this animal is, it's a very curious animal. But what's interesting in, to, in this is he has his nose in everything, and he's always breaking things. So this is somebody interfering. He's got a mask. He's a bandit. He's nosy. He's getting into other people's business, and he's causing things to break. He knows his way around very, very well. And he finds out secrets. When you think of the traits of the Code of Monday, it's subterfuge. Subterfuge is, is misleading. It's, it's, uh, it's like the magician in reverse. Stealth. But the cunning of the, of the Code of Monday is someone without honor. So that Code of Monday appeared innocent. And it was going to kill that white kitten. And the white kitten is a woman. And the white kitten's being shown you are about to be betrayed by someone close to you. So pay attention to this. Uh, I, I don't like having to deliver the, the messages that are negative. Um, but I'm not controlling what the cards are. You saw that the card was flipped up. This is the one. A white kitten specifically is a negative sign. It means that there's a difficult situation in front of you. Okay? So that's not good. Clearly, uh, a difficult situation you find yourself in, someone is not act, um, be, pre presenting themselves as they are truly, as they truly are, because there's I issues of envy, um, jealousy, and they want to cause harm to you. So, we called up, I called upon the wisdom, I don't know if I said that to you guys, when I was thinking about the wisdom of Avalon, I said, what, I thought of Merlin. And I thought of his owl. So I called upon the wisdom of the owl. And I asked for clarification. While I started talking, I said, I heard, listen to this. So I want to see what message I'm getting. What about us? What about all the ha broken happy ever afters? What about us? What about all the plans that ended in disaster? What about trust? What about us? There's something else, though, that's coming in this song. I'm going to wait for it. So <clears throat> there is no trust if someone is jealous, right? We, this one doesn't feel trusting if this is you about to be eaten or if this is them portraying themselves as an innocent one and they are not. As a white kitten, look at her. She's very pale. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but I'll be ready. Are you ready? It's the start of us waking up. Come on, are you ready? Okay, so you're seeing through the illusion. You're seeing through the deception. I don't want control. I want to let go. Are you ready? I'll be ready. Now it's time to let them know. And what's interesting about this song is it says, we came when you called. We trusted you. We came when you called and you lied to us. What about us? So now it's time for us to wake up and recognize this is the white kitten. So the white kitten is about to be eaten. And it's you that has been trying to be helpful to another. And there's somebody within, and, and what was it at the very beginning I got? It was within a family. It's within a family. Um, the, because the, and the code of, because the code of Monday is um, a family member of the raccoon family. So... Um, interesting, I've been getting a lot about the snake lately, right? And the snake can be positive and it can be negative. But in this case, we did call upon the wisdom of the owl, but we're, we're going to call upon the wisdom of the snake so that we can feel the vibration. We can feel the negative vibration, the slightest change, because changing course is what's going on here. Do you know that the snake is not unable to close their eyes? So sometimes if our third eye is closed or we're not aware or we put a blinder or we purposely don't want to see something, right? Um, you want to believe in something. You want to believe that this is something other than it is. And so it's like you put a, a blinder on your own eyes. But the snake is unable to, put, to close his eyes. So we're going to call on the wisdom of the snake so that you can sense the faintest change in somebody's energy or in their vibration. You'll, you're going to be able to anticipate if there is a threat to you or any danger. So it's about keeping your eyes wide open, observing the changes, and being honest. 
yourself. You have the ability to be strong and protect what is yours or who is in your life that you're trying to protect. Connect with this divine feminine energy within you, the healing of the snake, able to shed one's skin and feel the slightest vibration. Because what they're saying is there could be gossip about your appearance, about your sexual behavior, gossip about your work. And it's talking about Call out those who speak against you, like I just did. Someone's trying to discredit my work and say I don't know what I'm doing. I don't really care because I know that the people that are needing to get their messages are going to get the messages. And the ones that are trying to discredit me, it's only going to come back on them. And if you feed false information to me and ask for a reading, you know, you're not going to get a correct reading. That's just the way it goes. So I'm calling you out. Um, and be free of it. Or just say right now, I'm free of it. I take my energy back and I give you yours. And I will tell you that I have call, I have people call me on my work line for readings and um, I use Oracle cards. I told you these cards are, these cards are a tool. So I can, like I said, I can look at this card and I can see this in both ways, right? I can see an innocent one here about to be eaten or I can see somebody who's portraying themselves as, as an innocent one who's about to eat you. And that's what she's all got behind her. So I'll do a reading for somebody and... I'll pull out this card, right? And if they're an innocent one, that's what I will see. But if they are someone who's manipulating, I will be looking at a card that, that normally would be a positive card, and I will read it negatively. Because spirit's either showing me that, because I've picked up on the vibration of this person, this person's energy is wrong, this person's energy is off, and what, you know, that's how you know that you're working with someone that has it together. Um, so you're not going to get a happy reading, no matter what story you tell me. If you want to give me a fake story and I read it for you in a negative light, you're getting that negative reading because it's, you're pulling that energy towards you. And I, I'm, I, it's, I'm, I'm, I don't care. It doesn't bother me one way or another. You're still paying to, to get my, you know, have me spend my time with you. But if you're going to go off and, um, try and discredit me to someone else, other people have, you know, they get to choose themselves, right? They can see who, if, who walks their walk and talks their talk and if what they have to say is valid. So you don't have to accept what people are saying about you. You don't have to defend yourself. You're beyond their judgment, right? Their words are false. You don't have to live up to what they are saying or doing or, or, or answer to them. You're trustworthy and you're honorable. As long as you stand in your integrity and you walk your walk, talk your talk, there isn't an issue. But be aware that there could be cruelty, bullying, difficulties in your life. Clearly there is with the dream that I saw, right? Here comes a code of Monday that I, it, it appeared it was trying to help that little kitten. So somebody who's trying to help me, who wants to appear as my friend, is squishing the life out of me. So it is, is energetically draining me, right? Or trying to squish me out of a situation. Why? Because they're envy, envious or jealous? For, for what reason? Words can be very, very harmful. We've talked about this before, about the man who was being sued in court for what he said. And he's like, I, 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 you know, they're just words, you know, and the judge was about to pass down sentence and the judge wrote down a bunch of words on a piece of paper. The, all of he, no, he said to the guy, write down all the things you said to these people. And he wrote them all down and then he told him, he instructed him to cut them up into a bunch of, every word into, you know, a separate piece of paper. And when he left, he wanted to go, he wanted him to go spread those papers throughout the city. And then when he comes back in the morning, he'd give him his, his um, verdict. So he came back in to get his verdict the next day. The guy did what he was told. And the judge says, okay, before I pass judgment, I want you to collect all those pieces of paper and bring them back to me. And the guy's like, I can't do that. That's impossible. <laughs> I mean, I spread them throughout the city and by now the wind is blowing them all over the place. There's no way I'm going to get them. And the judge says, Precisely. And just like the words that you spoke, you have no control over what happens to those words, who they go to, how they change, and how far those words are spread. And if they're dam as you have damaged this person beyond repair by your actions. So be very, very careful about spreading gossip, about repeating gossip that you hear from someone else that you don't have personal knowledge of. If you have an issue with someone, go to them directly, openly, and honestly. Don't try to manipulate because words can be very harmful. So take steps, pay attention. What can you do to minimize this impact, whatever this is? 
So whenever you find yourself being accused of doing harmful things, first of all, check out how you feel about it. Not all of us have, I don't feel guilty. I don't do false readings. I don't lie. I don't manipulate. I am honest to a fault, unfortunately. <laughs> That's probably sometimes the, the issue. Now, if it's you that's being spoken about, you don't have to lose your mind. You don't have to be hysterical. You don't have to be paranoid. Please don't be paranoid. All you can do that's going to be in your highest good is rise above it. You can't stop others from gossiping. You can detach from that energy. You can detach from that area, from those people. You can ask spirit to show you who it is that you best stay away from. Can you please highlight it for me? If you get a funky feeling, trust that. Even if later you have to, un, you know, like I say, if you, you, um, they, birthdays on Facebook, you know, every day there's a list of people's birthdays, right? So what I've been doing is I go through the birthdays and I'll go, if I don't recognize the person's name, I go to that person's page and I'll look at their page. Now, when I first started my work, I just had this as my page. My, my private page was my page. So I have, I, you know, it was open. I had a lot of people that I don't know on my page. So... Now my page is as close to friends, but I've got all these people that I don't really know. So I'll go to their page and I'll look at their page. And if there's anything on there that is um, negative to me, and I mean that, you know, I'll, I'll go down. I don't, I'm not, I don't just take one, one post. I'll go down and I'll look. If there's nothing spiritual and if there are negative things, they're deleted and blocked. Well, they're deleted. They're not blocked right away because um, my page is, I made my page private again. So that's a way for me to get rid of people. Now, that are, that, are, that are just kind of lurking or whatever, you know, there's no reason for them to be there. This isn't my work page. I don't know you. There's no reason for you to be on my page. And I, it would take me forever to sit down. And I've gone, I've cut half my friends off, but, um, I mean, the people on my friends list. But it would take forever for me to go down and sit there one day and delete everyone I didn't know. And at this point, there are people that follow my page to get the uh, posts, the spiritual posts. They don't know about Angels Whisper. They just know me from that page from when I originally started my work. So I don't want to cut those people off. But if they have nothing spiritual on their page and they have negative things that I would not want to associate with, they're gone. So we ask spirit to highlight us. Give us something to show us. This is, this is somebody I need to be careful with, right? Trust yourself. And be an example. Be true. Stand in your integrity. This time, whatever it is that you're going through, it's going to pass. And the ones who are gossiping, they're going to, as I said, they're going to pull it towards them. That karma will come back on them. So interesting that I chose one deck, one, one card from this deck, and it's that card. And I tried to walk away from it, but they wouldn't let me go. And I said, because they were jealous. Were they jealous because they were insecure? Were they jealous because they were jealous of my work? I don't know. But the point is, jealousy is a negative trait. So whether this person is not an evil person, maybe this is a friend or someone that likes you. But if they're jealous, that's toxic energy. I don't want toxic energy around me. So I'm speaking about it. And if you're watching my page, you'll know. You need to change your tune. Right now I've got Lily and Liger and, and, and this prince come in here, right? And Liger's jealous of prince coming in, prince's energy. He figures this is his house, this is, and this other one's coming in, and he's jealous, and he, got, he gets very vicious. He's going to have to assimilate, because I'm not getting rid of the other. You're going to have to figure it out. Correct for neutrality. It just shows me, though, that that energy is around me, right? So we're going to go to, actually, I'm going to, um, and it's interesting, because um, the dream that I had, and, uh, I got a reading, I mean, a message this morning from another spiritual friend, and she said, good morning, I received a little gift on my sidewalk this morning. Either a cat or a bird killed a mouse or dro and dropped it right where I ha would have to walk. It's not eaten, just a clean kill. Is it a gift or what? Well, no, it wasn't a gift because what did I watch? I watched Dakota Monday, which is a masked person, someone who's not who they say they are, squishing a white kitten, which is showing you it's a female energy, and hurting it, and in the end it died. It was a quick kill. A clean kill so for me that also shows me that I am watching that there's someone who's trying to do that and when we get these messages ahead of time that's so that we can protect ourselves we can stop this from happening right so I watched ahead of time what was going on so I can make a clean kill I can I can kill that flip that switch it's done I'm not gonna I'm gonna kill that energy right away 
right? I'm not going to let that go. I'm not, I'm, go I'm not going to allow that Coda Monday to squish the life out of me. It's going to be a quick kill because it's a cat or a bird that killed the mouse. The mouse is a rat. The mouse is coming in, sticking its nose in where it doesn't belong, right? The cat is cunning. The cat is agile. The cat is flexible. The cat sees in the dark. The bird flies above. All right. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Wisdom of Avalon. Hold on. I'm going to ask for another message. Okay, this song is... I'll thank my lucky stores for that night when you looked over your shoulder. For a minute, I forget that I'm older. I want to dance with you right now. So this is someone. I'm so in love with you. I hope you know. We've come so far, my dear. Look how we've grown. I want to. Okay, so this is someone who liked, really cared about somebody, but they were afraid to show it. They were afraid to let go of their feelings. They're in love with this person, and they're realizing how far they've come from where they were, and he's grown from where he was. And somebody looking over their shoulder means I, I, you look back at me. You look back, which means you gave me a second chance. So let's go and see what this message is um, regarding protection. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Because you don't, as I said, when we have, when spirit gives us a warning, it's, it's, it's not for us to be paranoid. It's to let us know what we can do to protect ourselves, right? So right now, the word protection comes up. Now I'm looking at a path that is a dead end. You know, what's interesting, what I'm seeing right away is a, is a cat's face or a lion's face. See the, the nose and the, and the muzzle right here and two eyes. And this is the, it's a lion. It's a lion. There's a lion on your path. There's a Leo on your path. There's water with rocks. The rocks are exposed. So you're, okay. The path that ends here. Um, I've got to think of all the different reasons why they showed me that. Well, I mean, of course, the very first message is the lion is talking about courage, right? And strength. Um, the lion is an independent, confident person, a secure person. Lion has a message for you. The lion is on your path. There's your water, your emotional waters. The rocks are exposed. So whatever, whatever the dangers are, whatever, they, whatever was hidden is exposed. It's out in the open right now. I see what it is. I see you. I see what you've been trying to hide. The lion. My cat is half lion, half tiger. He's a liger. A mystical, magical creature. So the lion is saying, I am seeing. So the message from the lion is saying, stop using hints and innuendos. Have the courage to ask for what it is that you want. So that song, that person always cared about this other person. Never told them because they were afraid of letting go. But they've realized how far they've grown and, and was so grateful that you looked back over your shoulder at me to give me this chance. And he was saying, I'll be there for you, right? But he's not speaking. He's lying on the ground. He's not saying anything. Look at his eyes are closed. He's been exposed. Or maybe the truth of what he feels in his emotional waters has been exposed to himself or her. But they're not asking for what they want. They're not saying anything. That guy's singing in his song in his head, but he's not talking. So the lion is telling you, be careful, be prudent. Don't overdo in certain areas. Keep, in, keep balance in your life. Um, the cat is the old, this is the big cat, the ultimate protector of the home. So he's going to show you if it's time to relax, de-stress. He's about um, showing you about how to use your personal timing as far as your your personal power, um, what you need to do to reorganize or what, whatever you need to do to cooperate because, you know, this one's not speaking. 
and the message was stop using hints and innuendos have the courage to ask for what it is that you truly want don't sing in a song speak it's safe for you to be big-hearted it's safe for you to be affectionate it's safe for you to be exposed it's safe for you to expose your emotions your emotions are already coming to the surface and spirits telling you that you're safe the lion is telling you that you are safe in this situation to speak your truth this is your path this is the divine masculine color solar plexus says i am worthy i'm capable i can do anything i set my mind to don't lay down on your path speak your truth the lion's going to show you the way to manifest your dreams how to bring <clears throat> what it is that you want into reality <clears throat> they want you to you to allow your passion to burn within you like like a true lion if you are a lion you're noble you're regal you're confident you're in control you're balanced you're fiercely independent you know internally how to make changes in your life whether they're a negative change or a positive change I mean it's gonna be a change or in the lives of others as the, as the lion in in the upright you are loyal and you'll defend a, fan, a friend or a family to the death if the lion comes to you in your dreams this lion is sleeping it's going to tell you you're going to overcome some emotional difficulty that you're more powerful than you think that you have a lot of influence over others maybe you need to show some kind of restraint in your own personal life or your social life remember we've we've had to be we've got busy birds here we've got gossips going on natter natter natterer so maybe you need maybe you need to pay attention to that because of the first messages that we got there's a couple little gossips sitting up there on the railing so <clears throat> and I wouldn't see now it depends on what's going on the message that I get because I, I would normally say the red finch is about being um, speak your truth and, and be joyful and happy and they're lighthearted and they like to sing a song and there's a great deal of sudden activity but we've had a lot of negative um, messages here and it's about protection so it could be that there are there are people gossiping talking about you behind your back here you are being somebody who is you know defending your family or friends to the death and they are not to be defended it's you that needs to be defended um, so there's this restraint in your personal life maybe so that you can as I said step back and take a look and ask for clarity you you your spirit has been showing us that we were overriding our own um, intuition so if we are confused it's okay to step back from somebody you don't have to accuse them of anything just step back until you can watch remember the Fox came forward last week and it was asking you to be the observer pay attention to what people say and do before you act um, it could be also as the lion that's hiding here on the path you've been exposed because the lion could also represent you feeling the need to control someone and remember the song the first song was I don't want to control I want to let go what about us you know you called and I came what about all these promises that ended in disaster I don't want to control I want to let go are you trying to control a situation is it out of jealousy is it out of fear is it out of insecurity <clears throat> you have these feelings and you're maybe spying on someone because you don't trust them because you have your own insecurity this one's hidden right but it spirits exposed it or what it's happening is you're hiding because these are flaws in your character that are being exposed that you need to look at right they've, they've come up so that you can heal them um do you feel like you have to be in charge no we're not in charge we have to surrender to spirit a lioness would represent maternal instincts and and the great lengths you go to to protect whatever it is your family your friends your projects the lioness symbolizes hope victory tenacity stamina if you are attacked by a big cat in a dream a force may be driving you to self-destruction so you need to overcome the challenges if there's a black lion that you see it's a negative force someone using their power to do something nefarious right in a negative way to see a white lion that's majestic power or sudden awareness within you so that came forward for me when I saw the lion on the path the lion is hidden there either you need to step up and speak your truth and protect yourself 
from the from the reefs that have been exposed in the water so you don't crash <clears throat> or you need to watch out that there is somebody that's trying to control you because that vampire vampire wouldn't let me get away even though I tried to detach so again it's like a cutting cords and people say oh God, what's the point if it keeps happening well it's like peeling an onion so I cut cords to anyone I ask Archangel Michael to do a sweep and cut cords negative cords that I'm unaware of or that have tried to reattach and sometimes we allow things to be reattached because we go back to a situation all right we, we, we start talking to someone again we allow those cords to rebuild so we've got to ask about that too protection card coming forward is asking you to protect yourself and be wary there are hidden agendas are you too open are you a target <laughs> because you're shining too brightly <clears throat> like you know people are jealous they don't like you in the spotlight they don't like People looking at you, you're, you've now, you've done your work and now you're, you're, you're getting success and people are noticing you or you're, you're, you know, maybe at the, at the, at the job, um, the boss is favoring you because you've done a really good job. And then there's other slackers, you know, they feel that maybe they're jealous. They feel they should be in that position and they, they envy your position, you know, water cooler gossipers. I said, there's, there's a little, there's a couple gossips on the railing, right? So don't dim your light. Don't run and hide. Don't lay down. As this courageous line allow your light to shine you are you are a warrior you're a spiritual warrior and we have a huge team right we also this is another message this this lioness or this lion is not fearful he's camouflaging himself because he knows that there's hidden dangers he's exposed them he sees them so he knows how to use camouflage or she does against any potential attack so this is about the right use of power right coming from your integrity coming from your honor using your energy energy in in a positive manner because clearly coming from a controlling jealous envious gossiping feeling that's coming from a destructive energy so spirit says yes shine your light but have a cloak of protection around you so it's important today to put on your shield clear your shield of any energy that's worn down at you negative thoughts within yourself that have eaten up on the inside and ask for a clean shield to be put upon the outside of you you can use the sun the solar energy go outside and call that divine masculine energy into your crown and as it fills your entire body 